Hi, welcome to Inches Hand Embroidery, I'm Eric. In this video, I'll be going through the tools and supplies that are required for hand embroidery. Please click the subscribe button and bell if you haven't done it yet, there will be more hand embroidery videos coming up soon. We'll start with the hoop first. These bamboo hoops are in different sizes and you can get it from Amazon, eBay or some craft stores, either online or local. It's very easy to find and it's pretty cheap, just around a couple dollars for one. Hand embroidery is definitely an affordable hobby. So this is 3 inches hoop, this is 4 inches hoop, this is 6 inches and 7 inches. It comes in a variety of sizes. 12 inches is definitely one of the options if you need one. Let me show you how to put the fabric into the hoop. You have to loosen the screw on the top and split the outer and inner hoop. Place the inner hoop underneath the fabric and make sure the pattern stays in the center before you secure it with the outer hoop. Push the outer hoop gently from the top. You can adjust the positions of the pattern before you tighten the screw up but don't pull too hard because you don't want the pattern to stretch out of the shape. Tighten the screw a little bit and adjust the tension by pulling the side of the fabric gently. Okay, you can fully tighten the screw up now. So this is how the hook works. Next is the embroidery floss. There are a lot of embroidery floss in different brands. Those I use are from DMC. Number 25, the 6 strands floss. You have to unwind the floss before you use it for embroidering. There are other things that you can try to use besides the embroidery floss. I use yarn to embroider sometimes and wool to create certain effects. Let me show you. I love the texture that the yarn brings out. This is made of yarn. Fluffy and puffy. And a cloud in this lovely city is made of wool. As long as it can go through the eye of the needle, you can try whatever you want. It's all about the experimenta. The following thing is the embroidery needle. The embroidery needle has bigger eye compared to the regular sewing needle. This is a great embroidery needle set to start with. The size range is from 3 to 9, the lower number, the thicker and bigger the needle. So size 3 is the biggest among these needles and size 9 is the smallest. Normally I use size 9 for 1 strand, size 7 for 2 strands, size 5 for 3 strands, and size 3 for 6 strands. These are the tapestry needles in different sizes. They have dual point, which means the tape is not sharp, but I don't think it's really matter. I use tapestry needle for yarn because the eye is big enough to fit the yarn. So these two are size 16 and 18. I use medium weight yarn mostly. So I threaded them both with medium weight yarn and found out that the eye on size 18, which is the smaller size, is a bit narrow for the medium weight yarn. So I think size 16 is more suitable. These are the threaders I normally use. They are very useful. This is for the floss under 5 strands. I use this for 6 strands and this is for yarn. You need a big scissors for cutting fabric. We have a video that talks about the suitable fabrics for head embroidery. The link is in the description, you can refer to it if you're interested. The smaller one is for you to work on some fine details. And this is a thread cutter. I used to use water soluble pen and heat soluble pen to transfer the pattern onto the fabric. But I stopped using it after I learned how to print my pattern on the fabric with my inject printer or using the sticky fabric survey on some fabrics that are not available for printing. I made a video of pattern transferring. You can refer to the link in the description if you're interested. If you find this video useful, you can give me a thumbs up by clicking like button below. And you're always welcome to leave a comment. Thank you for watching.